Okay, so uh, today we're going to talk about branches and subroutines. And so in this lesson you'll learn how to branch your code and, uh, by using uh, the go-to statements and then create subroutines uh, by using the uh, operations of uh, sub and end sub statements. Statements, I should say. And so I'm going to look at a little bit of code here. And this is uh, branching. As you know, a computer runs a program by reading and processing statements one line at a time. And so sometimes you want the computer to break the flow or jump from one line of code to the other. While the program is running, you can instruct your computer to process a line of code out of sequence by using the go-to statement. So, for example, if you look at the following code, we set j is equal to 1, and then we say line q to define the line, and then we say text window dot write j, and then j is equal to 1 plus 1. Then we uh, put in here an if then statement. Now, if we just do an end, if end, if, it will only go to line q if this statement is true. Once this statement is false, it just goes to end line. The result is, is that the screen will print j, j which is, uh, the, it starts off with a value of 1, and then it comes down here and it, add ones to, it adds 1 to 1, which makes it 2. And then if j is less than 10, then it'll go right back to line q. So this is kind of like a for, a for loop or a uh, if-else loop. Um, but this one, we could, we could put an if-then statement. Actually, you don't need a for loop, but that's usually what you use it to. Um, go to just allows you to go to a certain part of the program wherever you define uh, a specific line. So anyways, in this program, line Q statement is a label, which is similar to like a bookmark. And you can add as many labels as you want to and name them whatever you want to, so long as you use the name, uh, the same name more than once or don't use it more than once. The go to statement instructs the computer to run statements after line Q. Um, if you're writing a small simple program, this is a great way to part, like kind of write several little programs that are contained within one big program. And so for example, if I have an if then statement and I want to jump to another part of the program, I would say go to whatever label is the line right before that particular part of the program. Um, branching in small basic is you can use go to statement to make the program run forever. And so you could put it at the end and say go to start. So the program will keep running forever and ever and ever. So basically what this does is this is the line start and it does all of this stuff. And then at the end of the program the very last line is go to start. And so it goes all the way back to the top. And this program, will, it, it'll continue to run until somebody clicks the close button. In other words, this thing will run forever until somebody literally closes the program. Subroutines, um, well, when we write programs, we often want the computer to run certain statements more than once. You can avoid writing the same statements over and over and over by using what we call subroutines. By using a subroutine, you can run more uh, one or more statements with a single instruction and create a subroutine you use the word sub and then you give the subroutine a specific name you end the subroutine by saying end sub so now look at the following uh, routine sub print hour text right line clock dot hour and sub now what would that, well, let me go back. I want to explain what that would do. This is a little subroutine that uh, maybe in the line before it, I could put line, clock, hour. And anywhere in the program, uh, I could put go to line, clock, hour, and then it will automatically print what the clock hour is right then and there. So let's um, try to understand this in a, in a bigger context. So here we have a program, and we want to use the divide statement. 
uh, to run or call the subroutine divide any location within the program. So down here in this box I've defined my subroutine as divide. Now what does that do? It takes the variable answer and sets it equal to the dividend divided by the divisor. Well, we don't know what that is, so we got to look at the program itself. It says, enter a dividend. And we would enter in the dividend. Then it says, enter a divisor. And then we would enter in the divisor. And then it would run divide, and it'll say, your answer is whatever the answer is. Now, the nice thing about this is, is that I can, I can write these little teeny tiny programs somewhere and then put them all together and then call that subroutine by just simply typing in uh, the name or title of the subroutine. And so what this does is it'll ask us to enter the dividend and then it will ask us to enter the divisor. It will run the subroutine, which is divide, and then print off the answer. Then it starts the loop back over, the while and while loop. And it will do that five times because I is less than five. And so once we've run that program five times, the program stops and it will say press any key to continue. Well, basically what we've done is we've tried to uh, understand how creating the, uh, a branch by using the go to statement and then how to create subroutines by using the sub and sub statement. Now what we should be able to do if we fully understand this is we, we should be able to write a program that the user, that asks the user for the name, temperature, rain status, and wind status for 10 cities. Using branching and subroutines determine uh, a way to display the total number of cold cities, cool cities, warm cities, um, hot cities, rainy cities, windy cities. And so that is really uh, a challenge. I think I may need to do a separate video for that.